Hey what is going on everyone this is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 17 iPhone tricks that you probably didn't even know existed. These are tricks that are really cool and of course most of them are very very useful as well. Hopefully they will help you perform a lot of tasks faster and of course make your life easier using your iphone on ios 13. now before i get into the video i just want to ask you guys to make sure you subscribe for more videos if you haven't already and of course turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the new videos so let's get started here are my 17 iphone tricks that you probably didn't know existed starting off with a few spotlight tricks so on the spotlight search of your ios 13 device you will see here different suggestions that basically you can use to perform a few actions so if you want to remove any of these directly from here you can 3d touch on any of them and all you gotta do is just swipe them down like this and you will notice here you can see once i slide them down it says dismiss right there so just slide down like this and you can go ahead and dismiss them easily from here you might not know but you can also use the spotlight search to search for any of the files that you have on your device so with the files app now of course you can download stuff from safari and all that and you have a bunch of files there you want to search for a particular file you can do that from the spotlight search so here i have files and you can see these are the files that it has found that are on my spot on my files app and i can of course go ahead and preview them here or i can just tap on it and it will open it on the uh, files app you can also go ahead and search for different emails from the spotlight search so just enter the like name of a contact there and it will show you emails from that contact and that's really really amazing now you can of course go ahead and also search that in app so if i search for pinterest here it will show me a few emails but if i tap right there search in app it will go into the email app and will do the same search so the same keyword that you type on the spotlight search that will be searched as well on the email app moving on to safari and here we have some really cool tricks that you can use while browsing on safari so let's go to the tabs view so right here you will have the x button that of course allows you to close a tab but you can also do that easier simply by swiping the tabs here so from the right to the left just make sure you swipe any of the tabs that you want to close and as easy as that you can close any of them so what if you have a few tabs but you want to rearrange them all you got to do is just tap and hold right there at the top and you can go ahead and rearrange your tabs as easy as that so you can place the tab anywhere you want so just move it around here and you can place it anywhere you want as easy as that really really awesome also right here on the tabs view you can go ahead and swipe down like this and as you can see right there at the top it will show you a search bar now you can use that search bar to search for any tabs you want so basically how you do that you have like tabs here i have a few opened from apple i have youtube there so you gotta search for that keyword that's on the tab like the title of the tab so if i search for apple right here you can see that it will show me only tabs that are open that have apple on them so what i can do another thing here is that i can go ahead and now close these tabs so you have like let's say like 10 tabs open you have two from apple you want to close just those two what you can do is just search for them here and then tap and hold the cancel button and now it will show you close two tabs matching apple and just go ahead tap right there and it will close that those tabs and you can see right here it has left only the youtube tab open so as easy as that you can search for any tabs that you want to close and close just them not the other tabs another cool trick that you can use while browsing safari that will make it very very easy for you to move like between different pages so here i'm on the apple website so i go ahead and open two or three links then i want to go back to the first one i don't have to go back on and on to get to that one that i want all i have to do is just tap and hold the back arrow right there and it will show me my history this is like the backwards history or if i have gone back and now i want to go forward i can of course do that by tapping and holding the other arrow right here the right one and it will show me here like the front what i have already visited and i can go forward from here so going backwards and forward will be very very easy just tap and hold the arrows and you're good to go 
on the calendar app on your iOS device. Of course, you will have like different events here, different important dates. So let's say New Year's Eve, if I tap right there, it will show me the event. But if I want Apple, if I want my device basically to send me a notification for like a particular event, what I have to do is just tap on the event right there. And now I have alert here and I can go ahead and set an alert for this event. Now, by default, it will be none. You won't have an alert for any of the events, but if you want to, you can go ahead and set the, the basically the alert on that day, a day before, two days before, or one week before. So you tap right there, and then you can go ahead and save this for this event only. Now, if this is an event that will repeat every year, you can set it for every year as well. So just tap right there, and now you will have an alert for that event. With the new Find My app that Apple has added to iOS 13, it will be very, very easy for you to find any of your devices. So if you have your devices just like laying somewhere around the house and you can't find them, you can do that using this app. So what you can do is just go to the list of your devices, tap on the device that you want to find, and just tap here, play sound, and it will play a sound on the device. And that way it will be very, very easy for you to locate your device. So you can hear the sound right there as easy as that you can find your device anywhere on the house. Now, of course, you can use Siri to easily make a call on your iPhone. And of course, we might use this when we're busy. And of course, you cannot speak like on the earpiece here, but you want to speak on the speaker. Well, you can ask Siri to make a call on the speaker. And that way, it will be very, very easy for you to just go on a call and don't have to even touch your phone. Of course, if you use Hey Siri, then it will be very easy for you to do that. So what you can do here is just launch Siri, call test on speaker, and just ask Siri to call that contact on speaker. And as you can see, it will automatically, the call will automatically go on speaker. So you don't have to call that contact using Siri and then go ahead and tap on the speaker. Just ask Siri and everything will be done automatically. You can also use Siri to quickly scan QR codes. So all you gotta do is just, of course, open Siri, scan QR code. And it will show you the screen right here, like a full screen camera. And of course you can go ahead and tap right there to go ahead and scan a QR code. And you will have this button right here as well, which allows you to turn on or off the flashlight. So if it's in a dark environment, you can use the flashlight from here. When on the Files app, you open a file, you're taking a look at a file here, like let's say a picture, you want to open another one that's on that folder, you don't have to reach up there and tap Done and go back and find that file. What you can do is just tap these lines right here and it will show you a list of the other files that are within that folder and just like that you can quickly move between different files on the File app. On the Files app, you can create nested folders which means that you can create a folder inside of a folder. But what if you want to move a folder inside of another folder? Let me just go ahead and create a new folder here. So tap new folder. Let's just leave it untitled. So what you can do here is just tap and drag this folder, just drag it like this, and I can go ahead and place it within any of these other folders. So let's go ahead and tap right there and move it to the downloads folder. And just like that, you can create nested folders. Of course, you can go within a folder and create a new one. But if you already have one created here and you want to move it inside of another folder, you can just go ahead and drag it and release it on a new folder. On the files app, of course, you will have a ton of like pictures and files that you can now download using Safari. But if you have those like, let's say pictures, saved on the files app and you want to move them to the pictures app then what you can do is just go ahead tap right there 3d touch on any of the photos that you want to move to the photos app and right here you can see it will show you all the details about the picture and of course you can go ahead and move them to the photos app so all you gotta do here is just tap the share button and then just tap save image and just like that that image will be saved on your photos on the photos app on the notes app, if you go ahead and tap right there on those three dots, you will have two buttons. One of course to start selecting notes and then you have another one that says view attachments. Now, if you tap right there, you will see 
all the attachments that you have on all of your notes on that folder. So here I have all my notes and these are of course all the attachments that I have within notes. So all of them will be shown right here and of course you can 3D touch on any of them and you can show it on which note it is and of course you can share it or you can copy it directly from here and if you have a lot just tap here show all and you will see a list of all the attachments that you have within your notes on the spotlight search if you're searching for weather for a city so here i have new york weather it will show you the weather so you can see the weather right here the current temperature and all that but what if you want to see like more details about the weather for today for that city all you got to do is just 3d touch on it and you can see it will show now the weather on detail so you can see during the day the hourly weather forecast right there so just 3d touch on any weather result and you will be able to show to see basically how the weather will be during that day so that is it for this video guys these are my 17 iphone tricks that you probably didn't know existed i hope you guys learned something some new tricks from this video and of course i hope you enjoyed it so if you did of course don't forget to leave a like also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and also make sure to go ahead and follow me on my instagram the link will be on the pinned comment again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one